Let us continue our reading of Pope Francis's apostolic letter on the liturgical formation of the people of God. We begin from Article 10. The liturgy is the place of encounter with Christ. The Pope in this passage meditates on the ever new, unexhaustible encounter with Christ, with Jesus, which the liturgy, the celebration of the Eucharist and the sacraments offer. And when we read this passage, just uh, let us uh, accept the full face value what the Pope says that our Lord is indeed meeting us personally in his Eucharist. Here lies all the powerful beauty of the liturgy. If the resurrection were for us a concept, an idea, a thought, only a thought, a concept or an idea, if the risen one were for us the recollection of the recollection of others, only a distant memory, if there were not given also to us the possibility of a true encounter with him, that would be to declare the newness of the word made flesh to have been all used up. If it was only a distant, vague, vague memory, or only a concept, a word in our human vocabulary, vocabulary which we use in general, then the incarnation of the Word of God, it would be something uh, like a pond uh, after rain in the hot weather, that all its newness would be dried up. Instead, the Pope continues, the Incarnation, in addition to being the only always new event that history knows, is also the very method that the Holy Trinity has chosen to open to us the way of communion. Christian faith is either an encounter with him alive, or it does not exist. The liturgy guarantees for us the possibility of such an encounter. For us, a vague memory of the Last Supper would do no good. We need to be present at that supper, to be able to hear his voice, to eat his body and drink his blood. We need him. In the Eucharist and in all the sacraments, we are given the possibility, we are guaranteed the possibility of encountering the Lord Jesus and of having the power of his Paschal mystery reach us. The salvific power of the sacrifice of Jesus, his every word, his every gesture, glance and feeling reaches us through the celebration of the sacraments. And here the Pope says something striking. I am Nicodemus, the Samaritan woman at the well, the man possessed by demons at Capernaum. I am the paralytic in the house of Peter, the sinful woman pardoned, the woman afflicted by homerage, the daughter of Jairus. I am the blind man of Jericho, Zacchaeus, 
Lazarus, the thief, and Peter, both pardoned. The Lord Jesus, who dies no more, who lives forever with the signs of his passion, continues to pardon us, to heal us, to save us with the power of the sacraments. It is the concrete way, by means of the Incarnation, that He loves us. It is the way in which He satisfies His own thirst for us that He had declared from the cross. So after having been reminded and sensitized, sensitized to the presence of the Lord, let us continue our celebration with the table of the Eucharist that Jesus is sharing all these words and prayers with us in person this very morning, this very day. <clears throat> 